I've made a lot of custom printables for you guys that will go along with your life cycle specifically for pollinators. So I wanted to go ahead and show a few of them to you. They'll be linked below so you can um, access them and they're all free. You don't have to sign up or anything. First I've got these uh, little uh, flashcards that are perfect um, for identification guides for kids that are going outside and looking for um, butterflies and pupa, larva, honeybees, anything that they're looking for outside. These are perfect to laminate. They can kind of stick them in their pocket or just carry them with them as they go. So those are uh, the little flashcards. And then we have the full size printer pages here. These are considered the posters. And you can see here the uh, life cycle of a honeybee. We also have the life cycle of a butterfly, specifically the monarch. And uh, we went ahead and used those same images and superimposed them onto puzzles. These are so much fun. Um, I highly recommend you print these out, paste them onto a piece of thick um, cardstock or even a thin piece of cardboard, and then cut them out. So you don't want the cardboard to be too thick because it will be a little bit of a pain to cut individual puzzle pieces out. You want those really thin, flimsy ones. Uh, the back of a cereal box will work great. So just paste it on, cut it out. We have also the, the honeybee one, so same thing with that. And then we have these fun puzzles. These are perfect for quiet time activities, for center activities. Just print them out, laminate them if you want. Um, same thing, you can put them on cardboard or card stock. And then you've got the bee life cycle here and the butterfly life cycle. And then the kids can put them in the right order for each of the individual life cycles. Uh, also, we've got just a fun color puzzle. They're black and white. And then you can color them, color pencils, crayons, markers. We've got the bee and we've got a flower. And uh, then same thing, paste them onto a cardstock, cut them out. You can cut them out as is, but the paper is just a little flimsy. Kids tend to bend it. But those are our puzzles. And let me go grab my garden sign real quick. My absolute favorite. Hang on there one second. Okay, so I had to go grab this out of my garden because I wanted to go ahead and include it in our printables. Personally, one of my favorite ones, but uh, I also created this really fun garden sign. And it's a color your own garden sign, so it prints black and white. You can design any colors you want, but it says pollinators welcome. So what I recommend for this is print it out, color it, laminate it, and then uh, we just glued it right onto a stick. At first I tried to use a staple gun to staple it in and it ended up ripping through the paper. So I definitely recommend just using some glue, glue it on, let it sit for a while, and go ahead and put it up in your garden. There you go.